What's up chat, welcome back to a brand new video. I'm gonna make this video as quick as possible because my voice is about to go. I literally, <clears throat> I made a 10 hour stream on Forza 5. Great game by the way, go and check it out. It's, it's, it's a pretty good game. I think I'll be uploading this before the Horizon 5, so if you want to go to Twitch, go and check it out real quick. Um, this video is mainly focused on... GTA and Rockstar, so a couple of weeks ago they announced that GTA will be getting a full update, a full-on engine graphic update, and a lot of people didn't expect it, because a lot of people were like, uh, isn't Rockstar making GTA 6? A lot of people were like, what's going on, you know, stuff like that, why are we getting a trilogy? And we all found out that if they didn't update the game, in 10 years' time, the game would get deleted, like what GTA 4 did. GTA 4 recently got deleted a couple of years ago. It's never been back up since. If you have a DVD, you're pretty lucky to have the DVD itself, because, you know, if you have the DVD, you can play it. Um, but yeah, if it's like, you know, going on PS4, you know, if you're going on Xbox, whatever console you're playing on, you're not going to see GTA, GTA 4, because that literally got deleted. The only way you can play it is if you had the DVD copy, and that's pretty much it. So that happened a few years ago, and a couple of weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, they said, hey, listen, this is what Rockstar said. They were like, we're going to give a trilogy out. We're going to have this and that happen. The graphics are going to look better. It's going to look awesome, stuff like that. My response to that is, I don't know... If they're understanding the community, but personally, I think both Vice and San Andreas is dead because I don't think people play it. It depends on the community, like how many people play it, because I mean, if there's hundreds and hundreds of millions of people playing it, I mean. That's crazy, but if there's only a thousand people, there's not really any point updating the game, so... It's... You know, I feel like they probably updated it so they can keep the game longer. Relaunch it, stuff like that. A lot of people are like, Yo, Diffuse, are you going to stream it? Are you going to show us? You know, stuff like that. Unfortunately, I won't be able to stream it because it doesn't have a broadcast com uh, commission for streaming the old original GDAs, but you guys can look it up on YouTube what it looks like, but, um, <clears throat> it's crazy, because you kind of think, Rockstar, you should be thinking about GDA 6, I don't know why you're going back to fucking originals from, like, 2000 and 2002, no one really cares about those GDAs anymore, I feel like people cared about that back in, like, I don't know, 2010, you know? I think I made like a I think I made a GDS San Andreas video back in 2016. So that's still on YouTube if you guys want to go and check it out. But yeah, it's like you kind of think about it. It's my response. It's not a good idea. But I do really I do understand that Rockstar is Big company. I mean, they made Red Dead 2 look realistic as shit. What the hell is GTA 6 going to look like? And that's the question. Thing is, I would love to stream the original trilogy games that they're going to be bringing out. Coming out December. I would love to stream it, but it doesn't have a broadcast commission. I read it in an article this morning, and that kind of threw me off. Because I was like, I was going to stream it, show you guys the graphics and stuff like that. And it came out to be... Not compatible, so kind of sucks, but at least we got Forza 5 that came out, and we still got Halo coming out, so that's going to be OG as fuck, and uh, my response to that, to all of this GDA shit with the trilogy, I think is stupid, it's probably the dumbest idea ever, but I do understand when it's a perspective of keeping the game alive for many years, you know, you could look at San Andreas being alive until 2080, 2090, 3,000, 4,000, you know, it's crazy, 41, 40, you know, it, it, it's just on the store the whole time, you know, but games do die off, and they do continue to be better games out there, so, 
I would say the trilogy didn't look interesting until I saw the trailer. It looked all right, but still, I just feel like it's not what Rockstar should have done. I feel like they should be putting their head, reminding themselves, GTA 6 is what we want. We don't really care about the Vice or the San Andreas anymore, because there's so many people out there who've already played that game probably 10 times, you know, and beaten the game 20 or 30 times. And now these days, a lot of people like myself would want GTA 6 to come out, and I feel like Rockstar's going to take even longer now because of what they did with the Trilogy. So hopefully, we can see... It impact for the GA6 and see how good it is and shit like that. We'll definitely play it in the future, 2025, 2028, and that's pretty much the two dates that they gave us. So that's pretty interesting. But guys, if you guys do leave a like, subscribe, comment, do your shit. Comment if you think, comment down below what GDA game you guys like. Is it Grand Theft Auto 5, GDA 4, Vice City, San Andreas? Just comment down below which one you guys like. And, uh, Subscribe, put the notification bell on so you never miss another video. I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.